Yo, what's going on, everybody? This is Miss School Today, I'm bringing you a video going over the new PvP trinkets that are being added 9.2. I got asked, you know, what are my thoughts on the new PvP trinkets? And to be honest, I didn't know there were many being added. However, I found out that there weren't just one trinket being added or two. There were actually five new trinkets being added in 9.2. And this video is just to show the effects that they have and what situations they will be used in. And with that said, let's jump right into the video. Now, the first thing you're going to notice with the new trinkets is that there is a new two set bonus right now. It increases your versatility, but in 9.2, it's a little bit different. Instead, it increases your main stat by 175 and then increases your stamina by 350 when in arenas, battlegrounds and war mode. So that means right now I have 82,000 health. If I take off one of these trinkets, my health drops down about 8,000. That's that's a significant amount. I also lose a little bit of versatility, it seemed like, because the trinkets do have versatility on them. The first trinket that is being added is called Cosmic Gladiators Devouring Malediction. And what this does is it works a little bit different than the current Maledict in the game. What this does is it absorbs all the absorption shields, or shields around you in a 20 yard radius and then deals that absorption to enemies in front of you. I'm going to life cocoon this character, which is an absorption shield. And I'm going to use my, the trinket on the character. And you're going to see that the life cocoon's damage uh, absorption is going to go down. So it's going to go start to 70,000. It's going down. And then I'm going to burst. And now I have an absorption shield on enemies for 17,000, which is crazy. This is really good. Again, versus Warlocks, Disc Priests, Mistweavers, any Necrolord because of Fleshcraft. The next trinket is called Cosmic Gladiator's Resonator. What this does is you place it on the ground and after four seconds, it's going to detonate and the damage is gonna be split among all enemies in the radius. And it has a two minute cooldown. It just looks like this. You play it, you push it on the ground. You're gonna see it, you throw it. It has a little AOE and on a target with 40% versatility, it does about yeah 19,000 damage. So really good, two minute cooldown. It's probably gonna be good if you're playing with a Rogue, Pally, any CC over four seconds gives you set up off of it, but you're probably gonna see this against rogue mages. Rogue mages are probably gonna use it for the extra damage and kidney shots. The next trinket is called Cosmic Gladiator's Eternal Aegis, and once you use it, you will absorb 50% of all magic damage that was dealt to you, up to 34,000, and it'll absorb all cosmic damage. So what that means is the last trinket that I showed, the Cosmic Gladiator's Resonator, this will this is cosmic damage, and if you use this trinket when you're about to take damage, you actually become immune to it. This is trinket's probably gonna be used versus most casters, but you could see I absorb 50% of magic damage taken, and I have 34,000 damage remaining and if i used it while someone was using the resonator trinket i would absorb all that damage so this is gonna be really good versus obviously spell casters uh anything double caster probably good versus fire mages as well this is a two minute cooldown so it won't line up with combustion completely but you will be able to rotate cooldowns a little bit easier with this trinket the next trinket is cosmic gladiators echoing resolve and this is a very interesting trinket what it does is it increases the duration of crowd control on you not decrease it increases the duration by 20 percent this does replace your normal trinket as well so you can only choose one or the other and what it does is after you are put into crowd control, you are immune to the next interrupt or crowd control on you. And there is no internal cooldown on this. That means if you get CC'd, you get a buff and you're immune to the next one. If you get CC'd again, you're immune to the next one. I'll show this real quick. And this character right here has a trinket on him equipped. I go for an in-cap, the duration is longer and they get a buff, making them immune to interrupts and crowd control. So if I go for a leg sweep, they are immune. And then if I try to go for another CC, like Song of Chi-Chi, they now get the buff again, which means after this song, if I tried to go, if I had in-cap or like a sheep or something, they would be immune or an interrupt. They would be completely immune to that interrupt or crowd control. The final trinket is called Cosmic Gladiator's Fastidious Resolve. And similar to the last trinket, it does replace your medallion trinket. So you can't stack it with the medallion or the resolve trinket. You have to use one of the three, but you can use it with one of the other newer trinkets. And what it does is it makes you immune to the next two interrupts or crowd control effects. And it lasts for 15 seconds. It does have a three minute cooldown. So this character has the trinket equipped and they're going to use it. And you can see the buff. They get the buff for two stacks makes makes them immune interrupting crowd controls i don't have any interrupts but i'll go for an in cap makes them immune and i'll try to leg sweep and it makes them immune i can get a song off obviously because it only stacks twice i don't think it's going to see much use but it is 
probably has it's the situations where it might be good still very interesting trinket might see some play and those are all of the new trinkets being added in 9.2 five new trinkets very interesting trinkets for sure i it seems like they were trying to counter some of the class design and covenant designs with trinkets rather than actually trying to balance the classes themselves the absorption trinket the malediction trinket is clearly trying to counter how every single person is a necrolord and fleshcraft is extremely strong especially for the specs like druids that can get huge absorptions and warlocks who have the huge death pack i think the most interesting one is going to be the i think it's the echoing resolve which makes it so you the duration of cc's increased on you but it makes you immune to the next one it's kind of interesting idea i like the innovation I think it's cool, but I just wish that they would kind of make it just dumb down the trinkets a little bit more and kind of focus on class classes because now on top of soul binds conduits covenants legendaries double legendaries now they're gonna have to balance trinkets and obviously the uh, resonator trinket is going to be used by every RMP and almost any team where the teams are can get so, uh, you know single target damage with four seconds kind of CC obviously that's going to happen so it's a uh, it's going to be interesting season. Damage is going to be pretty high. It seems like the new four, two set is also changed. So it's not versatility anymore. It's just stamina and main stats. So people are probably going to be taking a lot more damage. And yeah, I would love to know your idea of these trinkets. It's definitely going to be taking some time to get used to some of them. And that is pretty much it. Hope everyone has a fantastic rest of your day. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you later.